Hello, my name is David Jones. I want to welcome you to the Tisvasi Sheep Centre where we are busy in the process of lambing. So at the moment we have about 500 ewes in the process of lambing behind us in the shed. We have a mixture of triplets, twins and singles. Right, so this uh, ewe is expecting twins. Um, she's been lambing for roughly about half an hour now and um, she's not really getting along with it. So as you can see, she's showing signs that she's due to give birth. So we're just gonna have a look now and see which way the lambs are actually presenting themselves. Because sometimes you have to intervene. Um, say if she's breached, the lambs are coming backwards. She will not be able to deliver those lambs herself. So we have to manipulate to get the lamb out and um, so hopefully make him survive. So, um, one of the most important things is to have clean hands really. Uh, fingernails are short to, to save any damage to the actual you. Um, so as you can see, she's got enough natural um, lubrication there. I can feel now that you can see the actual front feet is there and the actual head right about it. You can't quite see it in the camera. But she's come in normal position really. She's got the two legs there as you can see them and the head is there as well. But she just needs a bit of support I think. So they're quite big lambs for set of twins. So you get one leg forward like that. The other one they do pull back so it's quite hard to initially get it out. There you go. Just double check the heads come in, that it hasn't fallen backwards. So you can see, just about see the tongue, you know. And just gradually pull. Pull when the ewe is straining as well. So she'll help you. You see, once the head's out, just check the mucus. Obviously for his airways. You don't want that going into the lungs. It's nice and free, okay? And just gradually pull it out. She's push, She's doing most of the work here. Supporting it along, really. So it's nice, nice sized twin, yeah. So obviously, there's another one in there somewhere. So obviously, once the bill of colours um, torn, they will take their first breath. So they're very different to humans. That's why it's important when they come in breach that you have to pull quite quickly. But in a normal position, they're obviously in fresh air. There, okay. But yeah. Just double check him, make sure he's breathing fine. Obviously he's naturally breathing fine. He's starting to move about already. Okay. Once the first one's lambed, we can pop him, pop him round once the air is. It's quite a heavy lamb though. To his mum. She will start to actually mother up to him. So as you can see, Starting to clean them up. What she's doing there is basically taking the wet mucusy stuff away, and that just increases his body temperature. Lambs don't have a very big area of space, so they lose temperature very, very quickly. So it's important that she gets him as dry as possible, as quickly as possible. So it's not too bad in the shed like this, but when you're outside, it's one of the crucial factors that you need for survival really. Okay, so we'll have a look at the second one. Um, this will be slightly deeper, so hopefully it'll shift it slightly more forward. I can feel one of his legs here now. So, let's see which way he's coming. So part of the process with lambing is actually using your hands. Unfortunately, we don't have x-ray vision but you can sense with your hand what part that animal is. Okay, this one's coming in a normal position as well. So we've got two legs forward. So we just need to draw him forward a bit. Actually persuade him to come out. He's actually pulling backwards here. Okay. That's one of his legs. Is there. 
just need the head. It's just gone backwards a bit. There we go, second one. So you've got to make sure the head's coming the same way. You can actually pull them with so just the one leg, but it's a lot easier on the U and the actual arm itself if you get both legs going forward. Okay. Again, good sized lamb. So as he's coming out, clean the mucus off. There he goes, taking his first breath. And then we offer this one up to the man again. Leave it to it then. Nature takes over. Right, so here she is now. We've moved her from the actual lambing pen into the mothering pen. So she'll be here um, 12 to 24 hours. And if everything's fine, she'll be moved outside. But straight after birth, um, here in Tisvassi, we give um, a watery mouth tablet, which actually helps prevent a particular disease that affects lambs. And we also give um, um, denture of iodine and actual navel. So the navel itself, once they're born, it's actually something that should be considered a, sorry, considered as a wound. So bacteria can get through that and cause uh, joint ill or navel ill, which is quite a um, bad disease. Which, the way we prevent it really is with iodine. So we give it an actual iodine, a good squirt, and that'll help dry it up. So, that one's done with iodine, and then you'll have a tablet as well. So basically the tablet goes down the throat. You have to actually push it down until he actually swallows it. Just make sure he's swallowed it. And he's covered for watery mouth. And make sure he does, you do the other one as well. So again, just a tincture of iodine. So it pops things slightly. And then, same with the tablet. And that's it really. So we have to check the mother for if she has any milk or colostrum. If she doesn't, you'd have to give uh, uh, these two different colostrum. It's important that they get colostrum in the first six hours of life really. Um, it's essential antibodies in that colostrum that will help them survive. Um, she'll also need plenty of fresh water, although she, she'll be lactating. So ample water, she'll be fed hay she'll have nuts in the morning and nuts in the evening until she's ready to go outside. And that's it. So we leave. Nature takes this course now. So actual bonding happens now, which is a very, very important factor. You want the ewe to care for the lambs and raise the lambs. So the shepherd is there just to help and assist, really. Ideally, it's up to the mother now. Okay?